Hello everyone. In this video series, we will learn Golang by building a simple RESTful API for to-dos app. The app will consist of CRUD routes for managing to-do items as follow. Post to-do route is to add a new to-do item. Patch to-do ID route is to update to-do item by ID. Delete to-do ID route is to delete to-do item by ID. Get to-do ID route is to get to-do item by ID. Get to-do route is to list to-do items by search criteria. We will learn how to connect Golang app to Mongo database, and to simplify the process, we will use Docker to containerize our applications. So we will learn to write Docker file in Docker Compose to create Mongo database instance, and allow our app to communicate with one another. Finally, we will write some unit tests, and mocking our database call. So to practice along, here are the tools needed on your Mac or PC. Golang Docker VS Code and Postman. Let's get start by creating docker compose.yaml file. This file contains the instructions to create two containers, one for Mongo database instance, and another is for Golang app. First specify the docker compose version we want to use. The latest version is 3.8, but it might not support it depending on the version of docker you have installed, so use version 3 should be a safe bet. Next specify the service name we need. It should be Mongo for Mongo container. An app for Golang container. For Mongo service. Use image instruction to build from Mongo image. Use default port 27017. Initialize database name using environment variable. Mongo in a DB database. And set it to MGO. Specify volumes location to be data DB and create an init mongo.js to create collection to do's on startup. Now create an init-mongo.js file and add command db.create collection to do's. For the app services, we will use docker file. So here we just specified to build from current directory to use port 8080. And depending on mongo service, Let's save the file and working on a Docker file. Use from command instruct Docker to download Golang Alpine image. Copy current directory to app directory. Set app directory as working directory. Open port 8080. Use run command to build go into Linux binary. Use cmd command to start our web app. Now using docker info command to verify that the docker daemon is running. If it is not running, you can start by double click on docker app or use the command open dash dash background dash a docker to start docker. This will take a few minutes. Once the docker is running, we can start our app with docker compose up command. Oops, there is an error in our docker compose file. We should be using services, not service. Now start the docker compose up again. This should create two containers. Go to do's mongo1 and go to do app1. Now that we are done with docker configuration, let's initialize golang app. In the terminal, enter command go mod and it go to do's. This will create go.mod file with module name go dash to do's and go version number 1.14. Next install third parties package that we will use in this app with go get command. This helps with code auto completion. Mongo driver for connecting to Mongo database. Viper for reading configuration file. Testify for mock and testing. And Gorilla Mux for routing. Let's create a new config package for reading configuration file. Create config.yaml file with Mongo connection detail in YAML format. Environment is dev. Mongo. 
Server name is mongodb colon slash slash mongo colon port 27017. Database name is mgo. Collection name is todos. Next, create config.go with logic to read config file. We will use Viper package to help in reading config file. Create configuration struct to hold environment name as string and mongo configuration as type mongo configuration. Create mongo configuration struct which contains server, database, and collection name as string. Next, create function get config to read the config file and return configuration object. Initialize conf variable as instance of configuration. Use Viper to set config file name as config. Set config file type as YAML. Add config file path as .config. Read the configuration file. Save the result in conf variable. Then return the result. Now let's verify that our configuration is working as intended. In the main function, call get config to read the configuration file. Use println from fmt package to print out the configuration detail. Run docker compose up dash dash build to rebuild and restart our containers, and to check configuration detail is printed in the log. Now create a database package to connect to Mongo database. Create database.go file. Create function connect db which accepts Mongo configuration and return a pointer to Mongo database object. First set server connection string. Call mongo.connect to establish connection and get database client. Return database object by database name, as defined in the config file. Now let update our main function to connect to database by calling the connectDB function. Print out the database object detail. Create root with Gorilla Mux and start web server on port 8080 to keep our app running. Rebuild our containers and start them up again to check the database connection. We can see that our Golang app does connect to the Mongo database successfully. This is the end of today's video. We will begin building database models in the next video. Thank you for watching and please subscribe.